the and the film is a dramatic <laughs> ending, right? Where you know um, yeah. Johnny Depp is with Al Pacino by the docks, and then the FBI yeah. pulls you out. And I'm guessing that that was exaggerated for yeah. That well, that that was and what is it? Uh, dramatic license. Dramatic license. Yeah, dramatic license. Yeah. But still, I mean, there were some things. Oh, in the and, and, and another thing, I, <laughs> for your listeners that's, that, that have seen the movie, Donnie Brasco, I never killed my wife. I mean, killed, I never slapped my wife. That, that, that was put in on the day. That means that the day it was shot. Yeah. So I never slapped my wife. I never had 300000 in a bag. <laughs> and I didn't saw that guy's leg off with a hacksaw. Oh, I was going to ask you about that. Hey, I'm glad you brought that up. Actually, and so then my wife, because I, I watched Donnie Brasco. I don't remember when the first time I watched it. But my but wife and I... Wife, I never slapped my wife. Yeah, no, my wife and I were watching it actually recently just for, for this, uh -huh. you know, in preparation for this. And uh, we looked at each other because we it was weird. And like the movie didn't do a good job of explaining why the FBI was showing pictures of, of you know, of Joe Pistone to Sonny Black and like we're like what why well, did they, they do were, that and it turns out that that actually did happen right yeah they were getting ready to shut the operation down you and, know? and what was the point of the FBI showing pictures of you to well, you know be, because we had uh, uh, they had wiretaps going and it's like what we say tickle the wire they wanted them to get on the you know <clears throat> Get on the get on the uh, the phones and and start talking. The Sunny Black thing that was another thing about the film because uh, the 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 way I remember watching it the the ending of the Al Pacino character Lefty and Sunny Black kind of got a little confused, right? Yeah, they, it, it, they 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 transposed it. Uh, Sunny Black actually, uh, and I guess I was closer to, to Lefty in, in in the movie. I think you know that might have, but. That, that that actually was Sonny Black's character. And <clears throat> what happened was, is that once they found out that I was really an agent, you know, w when the FBI went to them, their initial reaction was, that's BS. There's no way Donnie's an FBI agent. They, they're they just trying to get us to, to talk. And uh, they they kidnapped him. To, to turn him, to make him into an informant. That's what they thought. But then after, you know, uh, grand juries and papers start being served, then they realize it. <clears throat> so Sonny Black gets a call one day. He has to go to a sit down to report to a sit down. <clears throat> so he goes into, goes into his bar and, and he does, he takes off his diamond ring, takes the money out of his pocket. Uh, takes all the rings, all, all the keys off his key ring, but his car keys, and says to the bartender, I'm, I'm going to a sit down and I'm probably not coming back. I mean, he knew it. Called his girlfriend and, and, and told her, and, and he says, uh, <clears throat> uh, I want you to, to get in touch with Donnie and, and, uh, and tell him that, uh, I don't hold anything against him. I love the guy. He was just better than we were. And she actually did later on. Uh, she called the FBI and we met up and uh, the FBI took her to Washington, D.C. and we met up and she told us that story. That's how, you know, we knew. I, I still get goosebumps from that story. Yeah. Well, and he, I, goes, I, he goes to that sit down knowing that he's going to get clipped. I mean, that, that's a gangster. Yeah. Well, and but actually going back to the whole theme of this, which is con artist, right? Yeah. I've noticed that too, that when a victim figures out that they've been conned, they don't want to believe it. No. Uh -uh. no. So in this case, like the mafia was in denial. They're like, no, Donnie's yeah. one yeah. of us. Yeah. That's they, how good you in were. Fact, I'm, in, I'm in court. <clears throat> I don't know if I had ever mentioned this, but I'm in court like, three years later, maybe four years later. And the guy that was the underboss was one of the subjects. And I'm getting off the stand and I, I, I walked by the table, the defense table. And he says, Donnie, he calls me Donnie. 
He said, Donnie, how could you do this? You were one of us. <laughs> and this is like, after I, and I had probably been in seven or eight trials <laughs> before that. He said, Donnie, how could you do this? You were one of us. It's a tough pill to swallow, man. Okay, last question. And this is, I asked my listeners, uh, I said, hey, do you have any questions? And they came up with a bunch of weird questions, but this one made, this one was good. So, Joe, who starts your car in the mornings? <laughs> well, when, when I'm with Leo, Leo does. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't joking there. <laughs> and some things in this movie are shockingly real. In the movie, Al Pacino's character and Donnie Brasco are riding around town with a lion. Well, I asked Joe Pistone about this, and it's true. They did drive around with a lion. Now, it was only a cub, but rumor has it that Lefty, Al Pacino's character, would walk around New York City with the lion on a leech. And when the and then when the lion got too big and too un unruly, I guess, they tied the lion to a post at a park and then called the police. Sometimes truth is stranger than fiction. If you want to hear more, check out the Pretend Podcast. It's called The Real Donnie Brasco. And if you really like this story, I highly recommend Joe Pistone and Leo Rossi have their own podcast. It's called Deep Cover, The Real Donnie Brasco. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe.